Ahem. I don't know how long the rest of this chapter will be, so that cliffhanger might be for naught. It is deduction time, though. Let's do it right. It's the most important deduction I've made so far. If I fail now, I'll never be able to save the people trapped here. Go ahead, Neil. We're listening to you. In order to understand better what this place is, I want to start from the beginning. I've all been transported to this place through a train called the Midnight Express. The train connects two important cities, Ravenwall and Bluebell. Yes, it's a popular train in Ravenwall. Does that seem strange to you? Strange? There are many people who disappear from inside this train, like us. Why did no one report the disappearances? But now there should at least be rumors about people disappearing inside the train. You're right, I hadn't thought about that. We already know that the Midnight Express is cursed, but... What triggers that curse? Why do only some people end up in this place? Midnight Express... Choose people to be in a certain condition. That makes sense, but I don't know what kind of condition it could be. That's why I've mentioned the disappearances. Isn't it weird that nobody has noticed that someone disappeared on the train? A family member or a friend of a missing person should have noticed the disappearance. Oh. No one has said anything about the disappearances that they can't. Are you saying that nobody would miss us? At first I thought that was the reason. I think we're all quite lonely people. Nobody would mind miss us if we disappeared. That isn't the main reason. Just one of the consequences is the real reason. I realize that thanks to your relationship with Apollo. I wanted to find you, but he could never report your disappearance. What do you mean? I could, I could have never figured out the real reason without meeting the people trapped in here. Luna, Diana, Apollo, Celine. All of you have helped me understand the truth. This is what we have in common. We're all criminals. Uh, criminals? That just makes sense. It's true that I've committed crimes, but nobody else has done such a thing. Neil? Tell me that isn't true. Sorry, but that's the truth. We've all committed a crime at some point. Paula wasn't able to report your disappearance because you were a thief. If they found you, you'd be in trouble. We're all in that situation. If that can't be the reason. For example, what crime did Apollo commit? He wouldn't do something like that. It's impossible. Oh, I remember what his crime was. It just hit me. He pushed the policeman off the balcony and, like, hit the fence or something. Manslaughter. What are you talking about? Apollo would never do something like that. In his defense, he didn't have a choice. If he hadn't done it, maybe he wouldn't be alive. Besides, it was an accident. But it's still a crime, and he decided to run away by getting on the Midnight Express. For self-defense, doesn't mean he's a criminal. I refuse to believe that. Paula wasn't that kind of person. Celine. What about the girl trapped in the first building? What crime did she commit? Uh. Oh man, that was a while ago. Uh, she never admitted it, but she mentioned she did, she did unethical experiments in the past. Ah, yeah. I see. Wait a moment, that means that Luna also committed a crime. It's impossible, right? Luna? What was your crime? I wasn't sure either. That's why I asked that question before. Luna, I'm not sure about your crime. I have an idea in mind, but I'd rather not say it yet. I won't press you about it either. Oh, you killed the guy who killed your parents, didn't you? You killed the guy who killed your parents. You tracked him down. Oh, man. That's where you got the idea of. Oh, man. But it's true, right? You've also committed a crime in the past. Luna. Obviously, I'm also a criminal. I committed a terrible crime. It doesn't make sense. You want to be a detective. That's why I want to be a detective. I want to try to make up for all the damage I've caused even though I know it's impossible. Huh? I don't know what to say. I didn't expect this. But I guess you're right, even if I don't want to accept it. We're all criminals. The train transports people who have committed crimes to these buildings. Knowing that, it's easy to know what these buildings really are. Prisons. This is a prison. A prison is a place where criminals are locked up. Exactly what this place does. Basically, the Midnight Express is in charge of transporting criminals to these prisons. We've managed to escape, our crimes are forgiven. The 
place provides us food, clothes, and a place to sleep. It doesn't want to kill us, it just trap us in here. So, all this time... We were the bad guys? Do we deserve this? Punishing criminals is a good thing, right? Train is doing something good? In my opinion, the Midnight Express is... Unfair, obviously. Many people would think that the train is doing something good. Locking up criminals doesn't seem like a bad thing. However, do you really think that Apollo Carson deserves to be tra trapped here? Of course not! He may have done something bad, but it wasn't his intention. Personally, I don't think you deserve to be here either. Uh, uh huh? Why do you believe that? Unlike Apollo, I chose to become a thief. The Midnight Express doesn't consider the motive or the circumstance that led the person to commit the crime. It doesn't matter how serious the crime is, not even the age of the criminal. All people are judged the same way. Can't agree with something like that. Do you mean that someone who has committed a minor theft will have the same punishment as a serial killer? I don't think those I don't think those crimes can be compared. Yes, we all stay trapped here forever if we miss the train. No matter what crime you committed, the curse will still affect you. Can't be. I think criminals must pay for their crimes in some way. The Midnight Express has no right to judge us. Celine, don't say that we are the bad guys here. The real criminal is the person who cursed the train. Do you know where the culprit is? Black Gear. Black Gear? Why do you think that? Before answering your question, I must explain to Luna what Black Gear is. It's an organization in charge of eliminating criminals that the police hasn't been able to capture. Criminals that are difficult to capture are criminals who have managed to avoid the law with bribes. They usually kill them and leave a card next to their corpse. Oh! But they amputate the legs and arms of minor criminals so that they can't commit crimes again. Oh, damn! It's a large, powerful, and well-structured organization. Not even the police have been able to do anything. They say they do it for the sake of society to cleanse the world of impurities. Doing that kind of thing, doesn't it make them criminals too? They have the support of many citizens who feel safer thanks to them. Right now the leader is justice and the second in command is purity. Everyone in the organization uses code names. You're very well informed about it. Were you in it? My crime is related to Black Gear, that's why I know so many things. I'm curious, but maybe it's better not to ask. Wait, you still haven't told us why you think they're the culprits. Limiting criminals is nice and all, but that's, uh... That's one small step away from, uh... Being the one to, deci to decide who lives and who dies. And that ain't exactly fair. That ain't fair in the slightest. Okay. Midnight Express is in charge of punishing criminals. The same thing Black Gear does. It makes sense to assume that the person who cursed the train has to be related to them. They're people obsessed with punishing criminals. Obviously, it's just a theory. At least we now know why we're here and who the culprit is. This is the first step to breaking this curse. But if we manage to escape, wouldn't we all be in danger? Black Gear could attack us at any time. We're all criminals. That's why we have two goals now. First one is return to our world. The second one is to stop Black Gear. Yes, you're right. Luna, let's do our best together. Mm. Oh man. Take axe? It is, an, it is an axe that you found before. Since it was in bad condition, it broke while you were using it. She no longer moves. Okay. Luna is back. So we're all criminals. That's not something to be proud of, but we can't change the past. Indeed. The 
to try the key Luna found. Yeah, it opened. Oh, save game. Box is empty. Oh shit, didn't want to do that. Luna, wait. Let's follow this path first. There's something I want you to see. Um, I mean, I've never been here, but I see something interesting from here. If you aren't more careful, Luna's gonna realize the truth. There's a big colorful of flowers in the, in the flower bed. What a beautiful place. I didn't expect to see something like this here. It's a garden of artificial flowers. They don't smell like real flowers, but at least they're pretty. Luna, are there any flowers that catch your attention? You know what me you know which ones I mean, right? Let's go see them. <sighs> yep. I knew you still remember these flowers. What's so special about them? There are many blue flowers like these in the garden of our orphanage. We used to make flower crowns with them. We didn't know the name of these flowers, so we decided that we would look for the answer once we left the orphanage. At the end, I still don't know their name. Ah, they're called forget-me-nots. What kind of name is that? You surely are making fun of me. No, 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 I'm serious. They're called forget-me-nots. Really? What a weird name. They represent good memories and connections between people, among other things. As if they were a reminder of your favorite moments with other people. Yeah, something like that. Whoa, you're really well informed. My mother loved flowers, so our house used to be full of them. That's why I know so many things. I like flowers too. I always left a rose whenever I stole something. A gift for the police. Sometimes you leave me speechless. Hey Luna, why don't you keep one of these forget-me-nots? It will never wither after all. It's not a bad idea. Here you have. You got a forget-me-not. That's obviously a token to prepare for uh, boarding the train. Box colored pencils, and there's some drawings on the wall. Looks like a child drew them, but the art style is familiar to you. I wonder who made these drawings. It must be someone very talented. Yeah, sure. Luna's gonna figure it out. Luna's absolutely gonna figure it out. The art style is very familiar to you. That was Luna's narration. Oh, man. This ending's gonna hurt. Hmm. Feeling progressively worse about leaving people behind. Diana was sad because we knew she was desperate. Apollo was sad because, well, he kind of exploded, and we hope he's not actually dead. Seems so gonna be even more sad because she's a good friend of Luna's. She seems to generally be a good person overall, a real sweetheart, and I'm. Um, oh. She's, uh, there's some, some apples inside the box. You want to eat them, but you decide to not do it. Oh, why don't you keep them? I'm sure it's been hours since you last ate something. Yeah, look delicious. They'll help you replenish your energy. What about you? I have food stored for emergencies. You'll need them more than me, if you know what I mean. The fourth building may be tough. Also, look at Luna's face. She can't stop looking at the apples. She knows she's not even listening to us. Then, I'll keep them. Apples get. Neil acquired apples. Luna knows. Aww. Ah, before opening this door. Hmm. I don't know how to say this. I mean, behind this door. Ah, how can I say it? Selena's trying to warn me about what's behind this door. But she can't say it in front of Luna. Does your thief instinct detect any danger behind this door? Yes, that's it. What do you think it could be? Let me think. The explosions, poison gas, explosions, fire, explosions, earthquakes, explosions, monsters. Perhaps even explosions. There's too many options. Explosions, huh? That's a problem. What should we do? If this is the only way forward, we must open this door. If something goes wrong, I'll take care of it. Somehow. You don't seem convinced, but I'll also help in any way I can. Luna, don't be shy, and take my hand if you need to. Mm. Quick, move. Don't just stand there. What? Z! 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 I'm Zing! Ah, oh, it's an explosion. Luna, are you okay? 
No time for questions. Move again, quick. Z. Z. Oh God, I'm gonna take my hand. I know it's difficult for you, but we can do it. There's more. Z. You can do it, Luna. Hang in there. Good girl. A little bit more. Her things are shaking. She can barely move at this rate. Oh God. Oh God. God. Everything's spinning. Here comes the next one. Huh? Luna, you must move. Luna! Oh god. Oh god! Oh no. Mirrorverse. Luna, I'm glad to see you again. What? It's a. Diana! Are you okay? If you have any injuries, I'll take care of them. Huh? Are you surprised to see me? Right now I'm supposed to be trapped alone in the first building. Maybe I should say, in the first prison. Is Neil still mad at me for what I did to him? I couldn't apologize to him. I was scared and I didn't make the best decisions. I'm sorry. I wish I could be braver, but I'm scared of loneliness. I'm also scared of death. That's why I developed different kinds of medicines. I want to cure diseases so that people can live longer. But... Since I'm very young, adults underestimate my abilities and don't let me investigate. So all my experiments and investigations have been illegal. Nobody died or was injured, I promise. But something could have te gone terribly wrong. I committed my crime for the sake of others. You were probably the most dangerous criminal of us all, right? I trusted you, believing that someday you would come back to save me. But knowing who you really are, I guess you never intended to save me. Shouldn't you have let me escape with Neil? It would have been the best decision. No, oh. Neil will be disappointed once he realizes who you really are. If you had been trapped in the first prison, in my place, you could pay for all the damage you've done. That's enough, scientist. It's my turn now. Eek! A scientist? Are you talking about me? But I don't know who you are. We both know that, but we both know the Traveler. Traveler? Do you mean Luna? Yes, although I don't think it's a good nickname anymore. You aren't a traveler. You're simply running away. I liked your attitude right when I saw you. Also, looks like you're friends with Celine, a good friend of mine. However, I can no longer respect you. I killed a man, but I had no choice. You could have lived a normal life, but you decided to become a criminal. There was no need to do what you did. You didn't commit minor crimes. You did something very serious. How did I not realize it before? I can't believe I trusted you to help sell us. I also feel bad for Neil. I can't imagine how disappointed he'll be once he knows the truth about you. Uh-oh. I've been punished for breaking the rules. Oh, God. But I think you deserve a worse punishment than me. You don't deserve to escape with Neil. Apollo, stop being so mean to Luna. Celine. You're going to scare her. I'm the one who got scared. I better not say anything. Eh, I'm just telling her the truth. Must be hard for you to see your two best friends argue, right? But unlike her, I've never abandoned you. I never would. Uh, you're right. Luna, I want to trust you. You're an important person to me. When you escaped from the orphanage, I thought you did it did it to live a better a live a better life. You actually did it to commit those horrible crimes. I thought we were good friends, but you never told me your plans. If you did, I could have helped you. Maybe you wouldn't have become this kind of person. You never considered me your friend, did you? That's so painful. You abandoned me without saying anything. You never thought about how I would feel? I think that's enough. Uh-oh. Ah, here you are. Neil! Uh, are you going to defend Luna despite what she's done? Of course. It doesn't surprise me. You're a sentimental idiot. We all did something bad. We aren't very different, right? But her crime is so... But her crime is much worse. She is right, although I don't want to admit it. Do you still want to escape with her? Yes, I won't break my promise. Luna and I will escape from this place together. But... Once we, t once we return to our world, I'll make sure she pays for her crime in a real prison. Oh no! Phantom Neil, no! Luna, if I want to be a detective, I can't ignore your crime. 
you must pay for it. Once you get out of here, we'll become enemies. Oh no. Good for you, Luna. You'll finally be able to pay for your crime. Why are you making that face? You've always known that's where you would end up. Luna, this isn't, that isn't the end I wanted for you. But I know it's the one you deserve. I'm going to pay for the damage you've caused with your life. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, you finally woke up. Are you okay? We were very worried about you. Neil saved you from the explosions when you passed out. He dodged all the explosions while carrying you. It was impressive. We've advanced a lot thanks to Selene. I think we should be near the train. There's nothing to fear anymore. Luna? What's wrong? You're feeling unwell? It's understandable. You should rest. Even though Neil's arms are shaking, I think he can still carry you in his arms. Little noodle man. My arms aren't shaking! I have enough to strength to carry Luna in my arms. Whatever you say, noodle boy. Why don't you believe me? Hmm? What are you saying? I don't think that about you. You're my friend. Luna, stop saying that. I'll stay by your side no matter what happens. I don't care about what I don't care about what you did in the past. Neil doesn't think that either. If he did, he wouldn't have risked his life to save you from the explosions. What's happening? Luna thinks we're gonna hate her for a crime. That's silly. We all make mistakes. A crime isn't a simple mistake. Huh? But Luna's different. No matter who committed it, a crime is still a serious thing. You aren't helping me! I met several people who committed crimes in these buildings, but I don't hate them. I don't think you're the exception, Luna. Also, I would be a hypocrite if I judged you for it. I've also committed a crime. It's hard to accept the mistake you made in the past, but I'm here to support you. The Luna I met on the Midnight Express is a wonderful person. That's all that matters. Still, I think we shouldn't overlook the crimes that we've committed. It's something that can't be taken lightly. Well said, Neil. That's much better. Luna doesn't seem convinced, though. Mm -hmm. I want to hit these boxes open. Help me, Luna. Why do you all love breaking things? It's not necessary. Just fucking cravat kick the fucking box to death. Leave it on the blackboard. Break! There's also another word written on the blackboard in this building, just as I imagined. Now that you mention it, it's true. I forgot about that. And I'd express curse and break. Hmm. I don't know what these words could be used for. Do we have to break something? I don't know, but there must be... There must also be something written in the last building. We shouldn't forget this. It might be something important. So many flowers! Luna, we can make flower crowns with them. Let's make a flower crown for Neil. We could use the red flowers. I appreciate the detail, but we don't have the time for that. Oh. I feel like this is it. We're here. The train. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Yay! Luna, wait. You shouldn't get on the train yet. Something I must tell you. It's much more difficult than I thought. Can't find the right words. Celine. It's okay, Neil. Thanks for keeping my secret. I was able to have a lot of fun thanks to you. But. Just like I promised, I'm going to tell her the truth now. Luna. I can't get on the train with you. Look at my pocket watch. The hands don't move anymore. I missed the train a long time ago. Actually, it's been three years since I missed the train. I've been trapped here alone for a long time. I don't even know how I've endured that long. 
I felt empty inside. The only emotions I felt were sadness and despair. When I saw you, I felt happiness again. The first time in three years, I was finally able to feel joy again. I knew that happiness would only last three hours, and that we would separate again. But I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to feel sorry for me. I just wanted to feel happiness with you again. Neil figured out the truth right from the beginning, but I told him not to tell you anything. In the end, my plan failed. We separated, I couldn't spend much time with you. My plan put you in danger. I was very selfish by not telling you the truth. If you're angry at me, I'll understand it. However, I hope you can forgive me. I imagine you're mad at me now. You don't need to say goodbye if you don't want to. Huh? Luna? Oh no! Ah. No, 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 please don't cry! If you cry, I'll start crying too! I'll be fine here. I've already endured a long time. I can still endure more, now that I've seen you again. Huh? Your pocket watch? Why are you showing it to me? Do you want to give it to me? No, I won't accept it. I don't want it, really. You're the one who's going to get on that train. No, don't insist, I won't keep it. I'm not going to get on the train in your place. Luna, stand up and get on the train. Are you going to sit here if I don't accept your pocket watch? Luna, react. Please. I want you to get on the train. Please. This isn't what I want. Luna. Ah, uh, I'm going to try something. Huh? May not express. You're listening to me, right? Something I want to ask you. Please, make the hands on my pocket watch move again. I'm here for being a thief. I beg you to forgive my crime. Let me escape with Luna and Neil, please. I regret my crime. Give me a second chance, please. I want to use my life to make up for all the damage that I have caused. I want to return all the things I stole to their owners. I'll work hard to do it. I don't want to die here and be remembered by others as a thief. Please, give me more time. It doesn't work. My pocket watch remains the same. I'd like to at least be trapped in the second building. I could be with Apollo. And I'd express, listen to me as well. Neil! Don't you think Selena's already paid enough for a crime? She got on the train because she decided to stop being a thief and look for a decent job. Are you still punishing her for it? If she hadn't gotten on the train, she would still be a thief. Let her get on the train so she can pay for her crime in the real world. Please, let her come with us. Thanks, Neil. My pocket watch still doesn't work. This wouldn't work, but I wanted to try it anyway. I had nothing to lose. It seems that the Benite Express is too strict. But this is so unfair. It hurts not being able to do anything. It hurts a lot. There's something you and Luna can do. Uh, huh? What is it? Luna, are you listening to me? Do you still want to stay there? Do you want to miss the train and stay with me? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. I guess you don't care about what happens, is happens to Neil. What are you saying? If you stay with in this building with me, Neil will get on the train alone. We'll never know if he will escape from the last building. Will you, be, will you be able to live without knowing it? Neil could be trapped alone or even die there. Since you don't care about what happens to him, it doesn't matter. Selene, that's too much. It's a shame because you're the only one who could save him and make sure he escapes alive. Good luck, Neil. I hope you don't die. But... Uh, Did you change your mind? I know this is difficult, Luna, but I really want you to escape. I want you to escape because I want you to be happy. Ah! The truth is that, for a moment, I also wanted you to stay with me. I want to be with you, 
But not in this place. I don't want you to waste your life on me. You still have the possibility to live a normal life. Being able to see you for a while was enough for me. At least now I know you're fine. I want you and Neil to escape from here. I'm sure this is also what Apollo wants. We want you to keep living. We trust you, and I know that you'll find a way to save us. If you were able to meet up again, after so many years, we'll do it again. Neil, take care of Luna. Do whatever it takes to escape the last building. Otherwise, I'll never forgive you. That's my intention. To be honest, I was disappointed when I separated from Luna and I had to be with you. I only cared about Luna. But now I'm happy. I had a lot of fun with you. You're a good person. That's why I know Luna will be safe. Thank you for everything, Neil. I'll do everything I can to break this curse. We'll get you out of here, I promise. I hope that day comes soon. But... If you escape from the vast building and can't find a way to save us, I want you to destroy the Midnight Express in the real world. Burn it if it's necessary. Destroy it? There won't be any more victims because nobody will be able to get on the train. If you can't save us, at least you can prevent more people from ending up in this place. But if we destroy it, we don't know what could happen to you. It doesn't matter what happens to us. We already lost. At least we'll be the last victims. That's very extreme. It's only in case the curse can't be broken. By the way, you end up missing the train if we continue talking. Ah, that's true, only a few minutes left. Get on the train now. Stop fooling around. Yep, push, push, shove. You don't need to push us. Have a nice trip. Eh? Luna, that's a good idea. It suits you, Celine. Ah, oh, forget me not. Uh, huh? The forget me not that I gave you before. Are you giving it to me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Luna. I definitely won't forget all the memories I have with you. Never. I'm glad I was able to have an adventure with you again. I refuse to believe that this is the end. I'll definitely see you again and continue to make many memories, all of us together. Another flower crown finished. Oh no. These flower crowns are adorable, right? They're blue, just like your eyes and your bow. They fit you well, Luna. Do you think they'll punish us again for picking up flowers without permission? I wouldn't mind being expelled from the orphanage. I want to explore the outside world. I'm tired of being locked up in here. Once I'm an adult, I'll finally be free. I won't be trapped again. I'll become an adventurer. I want to explore many things from the outside example. My first adventure will be to discover what these blue flowers are called. They aren't roses or tulips, that's for sure. Those are the only flowers I know. Do you like the idea? Would you like to have adventures with me? I knew you'd accept. After all, we're inseparable. Lulu Wendell and Celine Ambrose will always be together. Forever. Oops, I got carried away. Maybe I exaggerated a little. I would like to grow by your side. After all, you're my best friend. Oh, did you teach me how to say best friend in sign language? Uh, yay, I learned a new word. You have to teach me many more. <sighs> fucking, fucking ninjas cutting onions all over the place. God damn. Ugh. Oh, man. Luna's been writing something since we got on the train. Have you finished what you were writing? Is it a letter or something like that? Ah, uh, forget it. You don't have to answer me. I know this is difficult, especially for you. We can't give up yet. We will find a way to help the others. 
as we know we've all committed a crime, I want to apologize. At the beginning, I haven't told you the kind of person I am. I did something terrible. I think every day about the crime I committed. It's something unforgivable. I wish I could go back in time and change what I did. What did you do? I haven't accepted my crime yet. I don't accept myself. A criminal wants to become a, a, criminal wants to become a detective. You must think I'm a hypocrite. I had to involve those two girls in the mirror and not saying and not speaking out about something. Which makes me worry. Ugh. Judging by the image of Neil in the mirror. That's true, I am a hypocrite. I won't I don't deny it. Even so I need to become a detective. It's my way of making up for the damage that I've made. Ironic, right? Maybe you think I should have confessed what I did to the police. If I had it would have been useless. It's time to tell you the truth about me. Don't you cliffhanger me. Don't you cliffhanger me, Lydia. I don't want to keep hiding it from you anymore. I want you to know about I want you to know what kind of person I am. Don't you don't you fade to black. I'm going to tell you my crime. Don't you fade to black. Don't you fade to black. Don't. No. 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 Oh, there they are. TV Celine. Fuck. God. God damn. I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh. <gasps> oh, God. That chapter hurt me to my core. That chapter hurt me to my core. In all the good ways. That's. Oh. These poor children. I think they're... Really, I think they're adults at this point, but... No, oh, no, Celine, no! Come back, Celine! To be continued. God damn, I really like Celine. I really like Celine. Oh. God. Oh. Clear? Clear save? Hmm. Ah. Uh. Well, that's it for Midnight Chap Midnight Train Chapter Three. Ah, oh. <clears throat> ah, for something that's rather self-contained format of four chapters of escape building, meet a strange guest, learn about them, have a predicament, catch the train. The plots really progressed really well. Uh. And yeah, it really was it really was Apollo's chapter that started to set up some threads as far as Black Gear, Neil knows more than he's telling us. Apollo did a killing. Apollo had the letter from Selena. Celine challenging the rules. Finding out that the rule breakers uh, lose their eyes and cannot, in fact, get on the train. And. Oh, but man, this really. This really dove deep into the hearts of all of our children. We met Celine. The focus of Apollo's search, and also an old friend of Luna's. Learn more about what happened to Luna growing up when she lost her parents. She went up at the orphanage. It was just that little offhand comment about uh, that Celine had about uh, terrorist. Who specialized in bombs. Who just turned up dead later. And then, later on, we all did a crime. That means Luna did a crime. 
That means that... Here's a two, here's a two. Do two and two go together? It's very likely. It's not outright confirmed, but very likely. Perhaps that's what Luna was, uh... writing about on the train. And we're gonna start off the final chapter with a, uh... final disclosure of Luna's crime and Neil's crime. God, Neil's crime's still a mystery, though. It's clear the mirror, the mirror realm is a reflection of your crimes, so... He did a crime out of cowardice? Does that mean he covered up something bad going on? That's the impression that the whole sewed-up lips give me. And the two girls behind him give me the impression of victims of some sort. He covered up a thing. And she regrets dearly, and he can't report to the police because of reasons. But still... Ugh, it makes a lot of sense why he'd think so low of himself. That being his case, but man. Oh, my boy, my son, my precious child, my precious kids, Luna. Did you become a did you become a a special a, a, a super assassin after that? After leaving the orphanage? That's at the very least you got stronger so you could track down Mr. Uh, Bomber, Mr. Bloody uh, Oh, Mr. Bomber. And that is my headcanon on Luna's crime until it's fully revealed. She trained to become super strong, super agile, so she could go and track down the bomber who killed her parents and kill the shit out of him. Damn. Well, we also had Neil's deduction about the true nature of the midnight train. It's a train to punish criminals, and if you can make it through all the buildings, your crime is forgiven in the real world. Now, there's still more to learn. The curse of the midnight train. The origins of Black Gear. And can we save everyone who's been trapped? God, cause God damn, I really want to save Celine. I really want to know what Apollo's fate is. I'll even save Diana. I, I do like Diana. But man, I, God damn, I really... That chapter hurt. That chapter tugged at my heart. I was worried it was gonna rip my heart out in a bad way, but it ripped my heart in a good way. Protect them. I hope we can get out with Celine. God damn. Until chapter four comes round. Until then.